Hi everyone, this video with the Kalimus we see interview questions in cities. So in last video we saw how the bed stages where would be occurring DB. So we saw there are three types of waiting used in blue prism, these are intelligent weights and uh, how intelligent weight worked in logic and the screen element. So these are the things we already seen in second video, how the best practices in intelligent weights. So how to start navigation and how navigation was successful, how to ensure that navigation through weight stages. So we saw already in second video. So in this video we can see continuously so intelligent weights, how it works, how many issues. So these are the things we already seen. We can refer the video to what are the causes. In this video, we can see how the tiny or small weights will work. Usually, in tiny weight or small weight will work in surface automation. So usually the tiny weight do not wait for any screen element, they simply wait for a small amount of time. Suppose you mentioned delay one minute or two seconds. So that is the tiny and small which will be focused on window to become will start. So how the tiny weight will work? So suppose you are the login screen. So you want to check the login screen exists or not. So you are activating your login screen. Once your login screen is activated, you are given 0 0.5 seconds. So after the 5 seconds, uh, uh, 0 0.5 seconds, or else 5 seconds, you are, you are selecting your username and you are giving the user name details and uh, after you are waiting 0 0.25 seconds we are providing the or uh, pasting the username so these kind of things suppose your login screen exists then you are activating then you are giving the small or tiny weights so this is the one used to have the uh, tiny weight condition and one more thing is process slips. How the process slip work? A slip may be called from within a process. Within a process using the utility general slip and yes. So you have to use The visual business object as utility general to call the sleep. So here this action is generated by coding processes only. 
so it will not work for normal it is for pooling process suppose you want to work with uh, some some pooling like uh, registration so or else some uh, test kind of thing the term you have to use with the application inter interaction based process files so here you can see how the sleep action will work so you are giving the name as play and your business object is to general you have to use your business object and action is sleep now here you sleep you have to give the sleep time so until and unless suppose you are giving for in real time where we used to be sleep suppose um, you are doing one application automation that is not complete automation that is partial automation think that is partial automation once the login screen completed uh, after that you are going and entering some values in the one of the page so after that based on the condition or based on the email trigger user or process owner will, will give some inputs so until and unless that input input reach in your input condition or input data reached into your application server you has to be in sleep this is the condition in client which was provided for automation so in that case you have to go to go with utility general sleep action so once user get the manual uh, entry or manual trigger once the bot will see the trigger then again the bot will start after the sleep so bot will sleep at least 30 seconds or one minute or two minutes or 30 minutes so once the sleep has been completed then bot then bot will again will start to work on the next bit so this is the option for utility general sleep or process related so we can see next question how to enable and disable locks what is locks and how to enable and disable the locks so how the lock will work so when you see So the runtime users will log many types of information in Blue Prism Event Log. Like Event Viewer, we have the Blue Prism Event Log. And to any CSLN produced by running instance of the process. So this is the, see actually we have stage logging, parameter wise logging, and uh, runtime logging. We have three types of logging in Blue Prism. Usually, we used in parameterized and stage logging. In Blue Prism support request, additional logging for runtime resources, then they are requesting that the following settings to be configured as per runtime resources, displaying the behavior which is being monitored. So you need to configure login to interact with client which is set to your connection to a blue plus amplifier. Now you can see if you go to navigate system resources management section. How the even log will be after ensure that the setting to capture information the even log is set. So you have to so when you go to management resource management will set different types of resources now you can write activity log to even log you have to select this option activity log to even log 
So you have to set the logging level of the selector and terminal source to be all stages. Here you have to select all stages. So then what happens? The event log will have set. So your robot has completed your logging. Bot has entered your user ID. That type of activity will be captured in all stages. Start, end, and action. What are the action right stages? Every stages will be captured by the activity logs. So this will be important. And one more thing, if you want, you can set log memory usage. So this is the log memory uses and log web service communication settings request to be able to add these options yes so if you want if you want to check your memory usage how the cpu is working how the mm, how the memory locking or how the card is working so that type of logs will be used in log memory log Web service combination with show protocol and security protocol, how we do or that kind of things we can see with log web service combination. So, this is the way we can work with logging. Next, the sixth question is what is logging agent? How it will be used to do it? So, usually the login agent software provides a mechanism for most of the tools we know login agent what is the purpose and the, that is the basic one so here we can see clearly the login agent software provides a mechanism for secure login and windows test of service for the purpose of executing both this work in case when we see other tools like bottom channel that is auto login option we can see uh, in group prism that is login agent so login agent what will do mm, in, in your user settings in your machine log off in sign out conditions what will automatically log in your user id and the windows login and the password and what will you provide at internet system it will take it and it will log in into your system or video then it will continue to grow will run so this is the thing is login agent what will time in group is process. Okay, let's see. Log views, log views is the big concept. So thanks everyone. We can see log views in our next video. And continuously we can see next to seven questions in our next video so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and uh, provide your feedback